A new bike can light up a child's face or help someone struggling get on their feet with a new mode of transportation. That's the goal of an Aurora nonprofit. This past Christmas, Second Chance Bikes gave 300 of them out to children, but it could all come to an end if they can't find a place to move their shop. Denver 7's Jackie Cray explains. We had a gentleman fix them all up. They put a new seat on it, paint it up. For more than 15 years, Ernie Clark has refurbished, dumped, or used bikes to give to kids that could use them. We have kids come in, they don't never saw a bike, they never, you know, they never had a bike, you know, and when you see their faces, that's the pay. That's the pay right there. It's part of his nonprofit Second Chance Bike Shop in Aurora, made up completely of volunteers. And we've introduced you to Ernie before. He was nominated as a seven everyday hero for the lives he's helped change, not just kids, like Army veteran Edward Trujillo, who needed one to help him get to a job interview. I have a lot of confidence now that, uh, uh, you know, especially from where I came to now, I have a lot of confidence that I could uh, uh, obtain my goals that I'm seeking and get there on time now. But now Ernie and his volunteers could use some help. Up until now, he says the city and the property manager were allowing them to run the nonprofit rent free. But plans have changed. The area will be redeveloped. I was sick. I was, I didn't know what to do. We can't do anything else. We can't fight City Hall. He has nowhere to go and worries his nonprofit will come to an end. You know, all these kids that don't have, can't afford, the parents can't afford bicycles. Uh, no, there's no, no more people like us out there to do this. We can get another building, you know, we can just keep on going like the way we're getting that now. Jackie Crea, Denver 7. So if you'd like to help, go and find our story. You can comment on our story at the denverchannel.com. So 